Okay, how to size a continuous pattern band in the wax. Sizing up. Get two rings that are similar in injection style. Cut them at an area where they can handle just a bit of a stretch in the design. So we're gonna cut that there and there. And then we are going to splice those two longer sections together and we'll make kind of a almost a curly cue of connected ring. Just a good firm tack is good enough for this step. Let it cool. Okay, the joint is now cool, and while it was cooling, I also uh, snipped off the screws. So you now have basically what's a slinky of a ring. And you pop it on the mandrel for the size that you need, and find the best place to cut across, and that'll just be where your pattern rejoins. So I am going to do it. Hope this is working. The more in the center of that splice, that you cut it, the easier of a time your ring will have it of um, making a nice round. And while that cools, we can start doing the rest. So basically it was a little less than two thirds of each ring and it's got a nice continuous pattern. It's nice and round. There's no flat spots and you should still be able to find an area to sprue, hopefully. I hope you can see this. And uh, this is my technique for sizing up continuous pattern bands. It has worked for me since Renaissance days. I have never found a ring that it doesn't work for. So, good luck.